M1860, Ambulation Locomotion. Ambulation Locomotion is the patient's current ability to walk safely once in a standing position or use the wheelchair once in a seated position on a variety of surfaces. This item is classified as an outcome measure and the item is not only scored for your agency as a component of value-based purchasing, but it is also data collected for the agency's STAR rating. Medicare's intent for this indicator is not how willing the patient is, but to identify what is the patient's actual ability to ambulate safely, or if the patient is wheelchair dependent, to identify the patient's actual ability to wheel themselves on a variety of surfaces. Consider the entire patient's ability while including their physical and mental status, as well as the environment. The assessment for safe ambulation is determined by what the patient is able to do on the day of the assessment. We also know that the patient's ability can change as the patient's condition improves or declines or with imposed medical restrictions. Many factors can affect the patient's ability to safely ambulate. These factors can be temporary or permanent. Factors could include physical, emotional, sensory, and environmental factors. For example, a patient may experience pain or fear associated with falling or may have memory deficits that can prevent safe ambulation. The time measure collected is the start of care oasis and resumption of care oasis, and again at follow-up oasis or discharge from agency oasis. Observe the patient as they ambulate and discuss with the patient and caregiver how the patient ambulates and ask is the patient ambulating safely. Include a physical assessment as well to determine the patient's physical capabilities. You should assess the patient's environment and observe for barriers to impede safe ambulation. Barriers could include throw rugs. The answers are arranged in the most optimal level starting with number one and then declining from there. It is important to read each answer carefully to understand which answer is appropriate for your patient. You should select response number one if the patient requires any one-handed device such as a cane or a single crutch. Response number two is appropriate if the patient requires any verbal cueing or hands-on support. Because each home environment is different, a patient may utilize a walker in one area, but a cane in a different area. You should always document which device reflects the safest ambulation for your patient. Response number three is appropriate when the patient is only able to ambulate safely with the supervision of another person. Response number four represents a patient who is unable to ambulate but is independent in wheelchair mobility. If the patient can only take a few steps to transfer but otherwise cannot ambulate, number four is the best response. Response number five is indicated when the patient is unable to ambulate and is unable to will self. Utilize a combination of observation and interview approach to assess the patient's ambulation abilities. You may want to ask the patient to show you where his or her medications are kept and watch the patient ambulate. Observe how safe the patient is while ambulating or willing themselves. If the score for your patient is two, three, four, or five, consider an order for a physical therapy evaluation for transfer training, strengthening and endurance, as well as balancing exercises. The therapist can instruct the patient or caregiver on safety, wheelchair mobility, and any additional devices that may be indicated.